in this video we will learn how to find out base angles so we have to find out base angle you can see here this is a isolated triangle abc is a isolated triangle why because ab and ac two sides are equal and we have to find out base angle this two angle we have to find out we know that when isolated triangle then base angle also equal so we can let here let angle b angle c is equal to a you can let anything or without let also you can do it so we know that angle a plus angle b plus angle c is equal to 180 degree reason the sum of angle of the triangle when you add all we get 180 degree sum of angle of the triangle you have to write on what is the value of angle a 50 so we have to write on 50 plus angle b what we let here a so a plus angle C also A because base angles are equal of isolated triangle is equal to 180 degree 50 plus A plus A we have 2A is equal to 180 so these two are unlike terms so 50 we have to take right side 2A is equal to 180 minus 50 so 2A is equal to when you subtract 180 minus 50 we get 130 and here this in multiplication so we have to divide 130 by 2 therefore a is equal to 65 value of a means angle b is equal to angle c is equal to 65 degree hope you understand this question now look at b number here you can see that vertical angle is 70 degree and we have to find out base angles it means this and this angle q and angle r we have to find out these two are equal why because p q and p r are equal being isolated triangle so we can let here let angle q is equal to angle r is equal to a why these two angles are equal because p r and P, PQ and PR are equal. This is isolated triangle. When two sides are equal, base angle equal. When base angle equal, two sides equal, which we done in question number 10. Okay, now angle P plus angle Q plus angle R is equal to 180. This angle plus this angle plus this angle is equal to 180 degree. We can write down the sum of angle of the triangle. Angle P, what is the value of P? 70. So we have to write here 70 plus angle Q. What we let here? Angle Q, A plus angle R also we let here A is equal to 180. So 70 plus A plus A, we have 2A is equal to 180 degree. So these two are unlike terms. So 70, we have to take right side. 2A is equal to 180 minus 70 degree. So 2A is equal to when you subtract, we get here 110. This in multiplication. So we have to divide 110 divided by 2. Therefore, we get A is equal to 55 degree. The value of A means what? Angle Q, angle R. Angle Q and angle R means base angle. So angle Q is equal to angle R is equal to 55 degree. Angle Q also 55, angle R also 55. Now look at question number C. In same process we have to do C number 2. You can see here vertical angle is 80 and we have to find out base angle. Base means angle E and angle F. Both are equal because ED and DF both are equal. When two sides are equal it means <coughs> base angle also equal. So we have to let here let angle E is equal to angle F is equal to A. So this two we have to let A. Now what we have to do angle D plus angle E plus angle F is equal to 180 degree. Reason the sum of angle of the triangle. Angle D is equal to 80 degree so we have to write 80 plus angle E. Angle E is equal to A so we have to write A plus angle F. What is the value of F? A we have to write A is equal to 180 degree. A plus A we have 2A. This 80 we have to take right side is equal to 180 minus 80 we have to write. Okay. 2A is equal to when you subtract this 2 we get here 100 this in multiplication so we have to divide 100 divided by 2 and therefore the value of A is equal to 50 we let what angle E angle F is equal to A so we can write down therefore angle E is equal to angle F is equal to 50 degree so base angle what we have 50 degree if two sides are equal then base angle also equal Hope you understand today's video related with how to find out base angles when vertical angle is given. Uh, if you understand, please hit the like button and if you are new in my channel, please consider subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.